Hey guys, this is Drew with Swindler FX, and today we're looking at something incredibly exciting. We've been working on this for a while, but it's finally time to unveil our first programmable four channel true bypass looper. Now, there are a lot of benefits to using a looper such as this. Uh, one is that it keeps your tap dancing to a minimum if you really need to swap a lot of pedals on and off quickly. Um, it allows you the shortest signal chain between your guitar and amp when no pedals are engaged. Um, it also allows you to isolate pedals that may wreak havoc on the rest of your signal chain even when they're not engaged. Pedals that have a weird buffer or anything like that. that um, It allows you to isolate those so that they're only in your signal chain when the pedal is being used. So uh, obviously I said this was a four channel looper but you may be wondering we've only got three switches here. We, to get as small an enclosure as possible, we've positioned these switches so we can hit two at the same time and one each individually. So this is loop one, these are loop two, three, four, and this is a preset switch with an LED that we'll come back to later. So um, to show you, oops, to show you, we've got the white pine in loop one, super bolt in two, pog in three, and blue sky in four. Now. I didn't set up my whole mic rig or anything like that because I'm not interested in showing you the sounds that those pedals can make. There are plenty of demos for that. I'm interested in just showing you the functionality of this looper and how useful it can really be. So uh, here's just a kind of my clean signal. Shortest signal chain, no loops activated. <laughs> sound too good through my phone mic but super bolt turn that off pog and lastly the blue sky you can turn on any combination of these pedals from one place tap dance all over your board. So that's pretty handy in itself, but when we start adding the presets, the programmable aspect of this, it gets really useful. So say you really need to turn on a lot of pedals quickly. Um, and maybe you have a drastic change between the verse and the chorus of a song where even with a looper you have to do a couple button presses. What you can do is program one switch to turn on multiple pedals at a time. Doesn't matter how many, doesn't matter the order or anything like that, as long as they're running through the looper that is. So what we can do, I'll go ahead and turn these off for simplicity's sake, but um, what we can do is to program this, we'll hold this, Hold the switch. Let's say we want to do all of our dirt. Hold it again to save that setting. Now let's do the second one. Let's do the next two. Hold it again to save it. Let's program switch three. Hold switch three. Let's do three and four. Hold it again. Now let's say we want to program four. We'll hold four. And let's go back and do four and one. So we'll hold that. So we're still in live mode, so we can do each pedal individually. That still works. But what we can now do is go into preset mode and activate multiple pedals off one switch. So there's a lot of our dirt. There's our Super Bolt and Pog. This was our Pog and Blue Sky. And then lastly, we had what? The Blue Sky and White Pine. And you can immediately jump, you know, between your presets. So immediately jump from these two pedals to these two pedals. Very simple, very useful. Infinite uses for that. You know, you, you can just imagine the applications that you could use that for. 
Um, but what's also cool is we can activate a preset and if you've got another pedal that you need to switch on later that you haven't programmed a preset for, maybe you just need to do one pedal. We can activate this preset and play our verse or whatever. And before we need it, we can go back to live mode. It remembers what preset you're in or what preset pedals you have activated and just activate one on top of it. Since we're in live mode, we can turn these off individually now too. So we're back in live mode and we're doing all pedals individually. So let's say we have these two on. We can go to preset mode and we can immediately jump to that preset. Simple, very handy. So all in all, really excited about the possible applications for something like this. I've uh, been working on it for a while. Um, it's not perfect, still got a couple tweaks can probably do a couple additions you might we might can do but uh very happy with how this has turned out and uh the possibilities that this could open up for a lot of players out there um i hope you liked it i hope uh this demoed what this is capable of and the possible uses for something like this um, keep an eye on the website and facebook page and our reverb.com store uh, for more pedals more information what we've done what we've got out there um, but as for now, comment in the video below if you have any questions. If I didn't show any show something appropriately, but uh, as for now, thanks for watching. Until next time.